What is going on guys? It's Rashad from 212 Exotics and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some new pickups that I have yet to show you on camera. But you know how I do. Intro. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some pickups that I've had for a couple of weeks now that I uh, haven't showed you guys on camera. Um, I know that I did take like a two week hiatus. Um, that's because I had a lot going on uh, with my job, the whole COVID situation uh, with my job and um, just being really busy. So um, I am back. Uh, I did receive some animals uh, in that time that I had meant to show you guys on camera, but I just slipped and kind of forgot. Um, but what's good about all these animals is all of them just came out of shed. So, and they're all female. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these animals. All right, so this first animal that I have is a pastel leopard, 100% head clown. Um, I got this girl from reptiles i believe um yes reptiles and as you see she's a little flighty uh she did just come out of shed um so she looks absolutely amazing um out of shed as you can see she just looks phenomenal but um i'm really excited to have her um she's about it's almost 400 grams um when i got her she was about three something and um, now she's about 400 grams. So I'm really excited about her because I wanted to get her into my clown projects because I like leopard clowns. Uh, nonetheless, if you guys saw a couple of videos back, um, I also received a spot nose head clown from Briandolin at Texas Bell Exotics. Uh, huge shout out to Briandolin at Texas Bell. Um, so it's going to be my attempt at some Batmans, um, <laughs> which is the leopard spot nose clown. So I'm really excited about that. Really excited to have this girl, uh, grow her up and get her into my pairings. So, um, yeah, that's her, my pastel lesser. I mean, excuse me, pastel leopard head clown. So, uh, on to the next. All right, guys, this right here is my blackhead Mojave 100% head hypo. Um, as you can see, she is, Mojave's are dark anyway, but as you can see, she's really dark. Uh, look at the reduction of the alien heads on the side. That strong black dorsal with the yellow striping. Um, as you guys can see, she looks amazing. And most of all, look at that. If I can get you guys to see it, look at that that black head it won't focus anyway she has a <laughs> extremely dark head if i can get it to focus there it is that black head so um i am really excited about her i got her from a uh fellow georgia breeder who goes by the name of frank um he doesn't have a morph market um, but he is in our Georgia uh, Royal Python, uh, excuse me. Yes, Georgia Royal Python Kingdom <laughs> that's on Facebook. So if you are a Georgia breeder or if you are a Georgia reptile enthusiast for uh, especially ball pythons, I do encourage you to join that group. But I am totally excited about this girl. I haven't quite figured out the direction that I wanted to go with her yet. Um, Obviously, she is 100% hypo, and um, I do have a hypo male that would probably turn this thing up a notch, which is my uh, fire hypo, who is actually hit for clown. But just to get just to prove the hypo out would be good. Or um, if you guys also saw in a couple of videos ago that I received a blackhead ball python uh, from 46 and two, Bill at 46 and two, so. I can also go for some super black hair Mojave's, which I think would be 
phenomenal. But I haven't quite decided. She has a long way to go. As you can see, she's only about almost 300 grams. So, um, but I am excited for this girl and I am glad to have her. There it is, that dark head. Anyway, this is my black head Mojave, 100% head hypo. All right, I did pull this girl out last because she is a little butthole, <laughs> but this is my Hidden Gene Woma Het Red Exantic Lucifer. Um, if you guys don't know much about the Lucifer line, it is uh, one of Nerd's lines. Uh, it's just another gene of fire, but um, he thinks it, I don't know if he thinks it has, uh, I really don't know, to be honest with you. So let, let me not lie on Kevin at Nerd, but I do know that it is his gene. Um, it is a line of fire, and it is one of those lines that uh, supposedly has more expression and things like that. She's, I don't know why she's being so shy right now. She's typically a butthole, but she has some very, very beautiful eyes. Um, if I can get her out, she's she's not going for it today. She's probably going to strike me in a little bit. But um, she has some very beautiful eyes. Uh, I think she's really gorgeous. I've always wanted to get into the Het Red Exantic projects um, because I do think that Het Red Exantic is one of the more um, underrated genes. And I think it has so, so, so far to go. Um, so that's the reason that I did pick up this girl. I wanted to always get into Het Red Exantic, but I wanted to get to me uh, one of the perfect combos uh, to start pairing her with to make uh, even more perfect combos. So uh, this girl did come from Monster Morse. Monster Morphs, uh, which is Eric Walsh, who is also a Georgia breeder. Um, he's down in, I think, Savannah, Georgia, or near Savannah, Georgia. So um, he's a really good guy. He produces some really nice animals. He's also uh, featured on YouTube in one of um, Tony's videos, from Tony from Hardwire Exotics. He's also featured in uh, one or two of his videos uh, showing off some new genes, uh, some genes called the Window Gene and a gene called the what gene, uh, literally the what gene. Um, so check out uh, Monster Morphs, Eric Walsh. He's a really good guy. I'll uh, drop a thing on the screen so you can follow him. Um, but this girl, I don't know again why she's being so shy, but this is my Het Red Exantic Hidden Gene Woma Lucifer. All right, guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed those pickups as much as I did. I am really excited about those pickups and the future projects that I have going on. Um, if you didn't see my last video, then you see that I had clutch number two and give you an update on clutch number one as they are already in the incubator. So I am extremely excited about what's to come. I do have another one due in about, uh, by the time you guys see this video, She'll probably be doing about five or six days, so I'm very excited about that. And I'm very excited to continue the pairings that I have going on, which for now, I will keep a secret. Um, <laughs> but um, I will have some awesome new pickups that I will show you guys. I just will not explain what they are in another video. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please comment and share. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.